Ever wonder how designers create those cool illustrations for their landing pages, websites, and mobile apps? Do they draw them all themselves? Do they hire someone else to do them? Let's find out right now. Hey everyone, I'm Elizabeth from Designer Up, helping you level up your product design skills. In this illustration tutorial, I'm gonna show you some of my favorite free pre-made vector illustration collections and resources. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you my secret to tweaking them to make them look really custom and perfectly match any style, brand, or UI that you're working on, all without having to draw a single thing. Undraw was one of the first free open source vector illustration collections to really gain widespread popularity among designers. Created by Katerina Limpinsoni, a lot of companies have her to thank for saving them countless hours and dollars by providing this free-to-use resource of illustrations that require no attribution. The Undraw website lets you search a massive library of illustrations in just about every category and situation you can think of. You can even customize the color and then, of course, download it in SVG vector format or as a PNG. Lucas Adams makes amazing illustrations in so many different beautiful styles. His collections feature everything from tech graphics to travel and finance. It's the perfect place to check out industry-specific finds. And he's always updating them with new and clever concepts. He's also got some wonderful premium resources, so do check those out as well. Lumi's is one of the more whimsical cartoon style illustration collections. This vector pack available from getillustrations.com features many cute everyday scenes and is available as SVG, PNG, as well as for Sketch, Figma, Adobe XD, and more. When Vijay Verma isn't making sushi, he's making awesome illustrations and sharing them for free over at illustrations.co. I particularly love his unique color combinations and graphic style that are at once modern and nostalgic. Find everything here from trending things like COVID illustrations, as well as graphics of one-off unique creations. Updated weekly, DrawKit has some of my favorite illustration styles. You can find some really minimalist, classy illustrations, as well as totally avant-garde shapes and renderings. I love getting the latest hits in my inbox each week, so make sure to sign up. Stubborn is another great library for Sketch, Figma, and Adobe. It features a character and scene generator, so you can combine different people in different places to set the perfect ambiance. Humans by the one and only Pablo Stanley takes things up a notch. This illustration pack is a library for sketch that lets you customize the symbols, changing out body parts, changing up the skin color, and even their poses. What I appreciate most about Pablo's characters are their diversity and the ability to customize them, and not just them, but their environments too. Not looking for illustrations of people? How about cute little bots? Pablo Stanley does it again with this awesome free collection of really adorable little robo illustrations. Get the library for sketch. Indian Doodle Illustration Pack is a beautiful black and white collection. They are elegant, minimalist, and simple, and just what some projects call for. Get them over at iconscout.com. And naturally, I will do the proper thing and finish off this list with kitties. These adorable little product hunt inspired rascals are perfect for non-human related projects or when you just want to add a little extra dose of cuddly to your UI designs. As of right now, all of these illustrations are free for personal and commercial use, but make sure you check the license before you use them. One of the simplest ways to customize your illustrations is to change up the background, and you can do that with a few simple graphical elements. Here are some examples. I love using simple circles, whether that's with a scene behind it or a gradient or just a solid circle. A simple circle is a really nice way to add some dimension and interest to the illustration. The next is blobs. And I've done a whole tutorial on how I make these custom blobs without having to draw them. And you can check the link in the description card above. Small shapes are a great way of creating excitement, energy, and rhythm behind your illustrations. You can use a combination of blobs and small little shapes around them. 
Big colorful glows are also a great way to emphasize and give depth of field to your illustrations. Incorporate icons to help tell the story a little bit better about what's going on and what your illustrations are doing. Use unique color combinations. Try going pastel or muted or do some really bright hard contrast to change things up. Try stripping things down and going really minimal with outlined or black and white illustrations. You can add a little touch of color here and there through shapes or shading. Set the scene. Try different inside or outside environments. A common theme is using plants or situations where you're looking outside of a window or you're inside of a room. You can even ditch the characters all together and go with just simple scenes. And then just have fun combining all of these different elements. Throw in a scene, mask it with a blob, a couple of icons, and just build the story because that's really what illustrations are all about, telling a beautiful visual story. As promised, I'm going to show you exactly how I tweak these illustrations to make them look really custom. So here I have a simple hero that I've created in the tech space, and I'm using a default illustration from Lumis. So what I like to do is first off, change up the colors, change up the background. So I'm removing a lot of the scene and I'm going to create something a little more simple and custom. So back over into my sketchboard, here is how I'm applying one of those techniques. So again, I've removed some of the background, and now I'm going to change up the colors so that they match my exact branding colors. And then I'm going to create a custom blob, which again, you can check out in the other video on this channel. And I'm just going to paste it right behind my character. And there you go. It's a bit different than what we started with. And you can even go further and change the skin tone, change the desk, all of that stuff. The more you change, the more you tweak, the more custom it's going to look. Another example, this could be for a book startup or a SaaS app. And I'm going to go ahead and use the Indian illustration collection. It's a lovely, simple, classic black and white look. And then I'm just going to add some little ovals here. One big one behind her to kind of highlight the character. And with just three little circles, I've given it something really unique and custom and branded. In this example, I'm going to open up a sketch library to show you how I use symbols. And I'm going to use the stubborn library. I'm going to use this lounging girl here, and I'm just going to copy the symbol and take it back over to my other sketch file. And then I'm just going to paste it here. I'm going to scale this all down and I'm going to go ahead and group this into a folder keep things a bit clean. And then I'm going to start building the scene around her. So this is an app to find other apps. So let's get her lounging maybe on a couch and we'll go over here to the scenes and then paste that over here right beneath her. And I'm just going to fast forward through how I layer this up. It takes a little while sometimes to dig through all of the layers and find each shape and tweak the colors and I could definitely do a better job of the color contrast here, but that just gives you an idea of how customizable these are and how you can work with the symbol instances to create different situations and character positions. As a final word, I am so grateful to these talented and generous designers that share their illustrations with us for free. As designers, we know how much time, effort, and love go into creating designs like these. My one request is that if you do use them, even though you don't have to, please link back or share them on social media and pay it forward. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.